now the latest on June 17th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Day 168 of the year, June 17th sees Cyclone Vayu dying and Invest 94W potentially developing in the next week in the Philippine Sea. No other systems are active around the world at this time. Day 17 of Atlantic hurricane season, no systems active right now, the next name is Barry. It's day 34 in the Eastern Pacific and we're still awaiting the first cyclone of the season here. In the Western Pacific, 94W has a 20% chance of development in the next 5 days. Vayu is about to lose tropical storm status. And no cyclones are active in the Southern Hemisphere, although there is still an inkling that a system could form near the Solomon Islands this week. Cyclone Vayu has winds of 40 miles per hour and a pressure of 997 millibars. It's looking terrible, it's about to lose tropical storm status 226 miles from Karachi, Pakistan. Uh, and is likely to move towards the northeast, losing tropical storm status later and then degenerating into a remnant low with what's left of the system moving inland over India and then towards the central part of the country. Well here's what I mean when we look at the system right now. What's left of its convection has been blown well away towards the west due to unfathomably high wind shear. Uh, and that is what has really cleaned this storm out uh, and there's hardly anything left apart from a, lo a low level swirl really. Um, very little in the way of activity around the centre of the cyclone. In fact, none at all. Elsewhere in the Atlantic, it's looking like this right now. An extra tropical cyclone off towards the north there. A little uh, feature there in the uh, Atlantic not far from the uh, Lesser Antilles. Uh, but nothing is likely to develop in the Atlantic anytime soon. Saharan dust off towards the east. Uh, off the coast of Africa there too. The Gulf of Mexico looks like this, pretty quiet, some thunderstorms blowing up across Florida though and a possible severe weather event in the United States today. The Eastern Pacific looks like this, you can sort of see a little line there of uh, convective activity uh, but really as you can see very little in terms of things that we could point out towards potential tropical cyclone development. Uh, that is because none of it will anytime soon. Uh, models suggesting maybe development next week. The Western Pacific looks like this. You can see Invest 94W on the left. Not really much going on with it at the minute, but models do suggest that it could develop into a tropical cyclone. If not this week, then maybe into the early part of next week. Uh, and also an area of interest there in the, Gulf, in the uh, South China Sea, uh, which could develop sooner. The Southern Hemisphere looking like this, uh, Australia and the South Pacific, uh, not much going on that's developed yet. The Indian Ocean looking like this, value on the left hand side and in the uh, Bay of Bengal, uh, some interesting activity there but doesn't look like anything's going to come of that now. Sea surface temperatures in the Eastern East Pacific are very warm, 30 degrees plus, we're still looking at that area for early development in that basin. The Atlantic, very warm off the coast of Cuba and the Bahamas, 30 degrees plus. Off the Lesser Antilles, around 28. Certainly warm enough for a Caribbean cyclone early on in the season. The North Indian Ocean, you can see it there. Uh, temperatures dropping off just a little bit in the Arabian Sea in the wake of uh, Vayu. But the Bay of Bengal, still very warm, 30 degrees plus, And the, the Arabian Sea, not too much cooler for itself either. The South China Sea and the Philippine Sea is the areas that we're going to be watching next. 30 degrees plus in both those regions could see some significant development. Looking at a close-up of cyclone value in the last 12 hours or so, you can see quite clearly where the center of the system is. Uh, and that's far, far away from all of that convection that's been blown well away, far towards the west. And some of that is now affecting Oman. So the next name in the Atlantic is Barry, as mentioned earlier, in the Eastern Pacific, we're still waiting for Alvin. The Central Pacific's name, next name is Akoni, on list one there. In the Western Pacific, the next name to come will be Sepat, and we could be seeing that soon. In the North Indian Ocean, if we get another storm, it's going to be Hika. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page Force 13, subscribe if you haven't already, and you can also find our Facebook and Twitter pages online, search Force 13 all in text, at Force 13 on Twitter. That's all for another Tropical Weather Bulletin, we'll keep you up to date on those invests and what's left of value in tomorrow's update. 
You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord, it's Fool13 at extension 9094 and Force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for Tropical Weather Chat in our description.